So hello everyone, my name is Giles, I'm from Scotland in case you couldn't already tell. Um, I run a wee club called Ronan Grappling in Glasgow, Scotland. Uh, please feel free to come and visit us, as long as you're not a dick. I should know, I do swear quite a lot. I will attempt to keep it to a minimum as there's children here, uh, I'd rather not offend everyone. However, if a wee curse word does slip out, I apologise but we use swear words as punctuation in Glasgow, so uh, your mileage may vary. Today I'm going to be talking about using the cradle to pass guard. So where's my uh, gorgeous assistant? Maybe. Can make it. So, um, essentially the cradle we'll be covering today looks a little bit like this, where I have the head and the leg, the top leg specifically, grabbed. And uh, just go over a little scenario that might come off of, put me in half guard. So just move this way a bit. So from here, perhaps I'm trying to smash, he flares the leg out. I go cross body, I go chest to chest, and then perhaps he starts thinking about coming to the top. Oh, there's a cradle. And that's that. Drive my face in it and just generally make my life easier. Uh, I'm getting older now, but I've got a bunch of injuries, so I try and be as lazy as possible and make them do all the work. Uh, that's the general gist of what we're covering today. And the main takeaway, lay down on your side, please. On your side, not your back. You'll get there eventually. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime someone tries to come to their knees, come to your knees, he's going to have to bring his knee up. Just if the knee comes up, it's going to be close to the head. If head and knee are close together, cradle. That's it. I could make it simpler, but that would involve little little gold stars and we uh, plasticine and play-doh and crayons, and I don't want to insult your intelligence. So I'm going to do a drill first to make sure we know exactly what we're doing. Nathan, if you could lay it on your back, please. So uh, see what motion this way. So I'm going to go knee and belly. Uh, I, I assume we all know what knee and belly roughly looks like. I mean, the clue's in the name, and it's fucking knee and belly. Is I sometimes like to get that and go knee and sternum. <coughs> but don't do that to your partner. Be nice. So from here, generally speaking, most people will try and push a knee off and come to their side. Oh. As they build up, so as Nathan starts thinking about coming to his knees, perhaps he's sick of it, he has to bring this knee close to his head. Because if he doesn't, if he just kind of goes flat, he's going to... and look fucking ridiculous. <laughs> so, once more, the first thing I'm going to ask you all to do, knee and belly. Your partner's going to push your knee off. Your partner's going to try and come to their knees, try and build up. Capture head. And see I'm overhooking over the head. Remember, just turn around this way, please. Over here. If you can link your arms, that's lovely, but I'm small and very frail, so I can't really get that. So at the very least, squeeze your arms together. Imagine you're showing off, just showing off the guns, my 66 kilos of muscle, steel, and sex appeal. Uh, yeah. none, of you, none of you, no one's impressed. <laughs> Love you too, darling. So here, I just wait to cradle and put a little bit of pressure and just walk around a wee bit. On your toes, a little bit of walk, 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 and notice how your partner is now po possibly, potentially, maybe, completely fucked. <laughs> if you need to be quite aggressive trying to work to the knees, drive the head in. Just walk. <laughs> That's it. Are you doing anything specific with your shoulder? Are you driving the shoulder in? Nah. Okay. I'm basically just <clears throat> grab leg, grab head, on my toes, walk around, nice way base. If I need to, I'll shove my feet on their body just to kind of keep them from moving. I like to kind of jam my face on the hip bone. Like, basically, as soon as you shove the knee off and try and come to their knees, snatch, cradle, walk around, flatten them. That's it. Can't be any simpler. Does anyone need to see this again? Yeah. <laughs> You're a ball back, son, you know that. <laughs> so, Ian Bailey, he hates it, can't blame him. He thinks about, oh, ah. 
got you. From here, keep the pressure on, try and really squeeze your arms together. You can link your hands great. Toes, walk, 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 walk. Walk towards the head, and that's all she wrote. And we can do fancier stuff later on, like, walk, walk. And move into our stuff. But first things first, let's get this. Let's try and not fuck up too much, and we'll go from there. <laughs> points so everyone's got the general gist of it first thing is when you're actually catching this so where's my there you go so a few of you are going fight it's pushing me off and then because his knee is not close to his head I think I was quite specific when I said make sure the knee is close to the head but it's alright I forgive you all so he goes Ah! See how he's had to step the leg up? Remember when I said he needs to have the leg stepped up so he can actually get back to his knees? That is the moment. That is the key. See? Head close to knee. That is the moment in time as he's just about to get back to his knees. He thinks, ha, I've got you, jealous. I'm like, no, fuck you. <laughs> uh, secondly, well, really, it's three points. Secondly, some of you are like, I can't submit him from here. It's not a submission. I'm just stopping them from fucking ruining my day. I usually do this if I'm quite tired, which is all the time. I'm just like, right, <laughs> stay there, you bastard. <sighs> I can wait there. He can struggle. You can struggle if you want. So you see, I'm having an alright time. I'm just like, fuck's sake, Nathan. <laughs> Oh, there you go, there you go. Thank you, thank you, thank you. There you go. Then I do all my other stuff. So point number two, it's a control position. Uh, thirdly, just to quickly address the point, I will go over sort of sort of end points or finishing, and that's gonna be towards it. The main cut and thrust of today's session is making sure that we can find the cradle wherever we are. So now we're going to the meat and bones of this. So your partner's going to be in half guard now. Come a little bit closer, folks. You're too far away. This job scared me or something. I mean, I know the last game a lot of reputation, but Jesus Christ. <laughs> so I'm going to work on the principle that my partner, Nathan, is not an idiot. I'm going to work it. Ah, don't, don't. Are they bullying you again? Yes. <laughs> so from here, assume that your partner's got a pretty good half guard and that they're really doing a good job keeping you at bay. So imagine I'm trying to smash you. Oh, oh, oh my God, you've got all your various passes here. If I can't go over it, I will go around it. So from here, I'm just going to say, fuck it. I can't be fucked. I'm too lazy. Have I mentioned that? <laughs> From here, I'll just show you this little detail here. You notice I've got my knee wedged in the hip. Point the knee, bottom knee, wedged in the hip. If you can't see that, stand up. This is fucking crucial. I repeat, this is fucking crucial. If you don't have this, you're gonna get stuck and you're gonna get sweat. Second crucial point, this arm here could potentially ruin my day, you can sweep up to the top. So I want to, at the very least, track it, arm here, I don't really care. Or at the very least, be prepared to turn to my legs. Uh, turn onto my uh, toes and start placing them in. Because again, from here, I've got my knee wedged in. As I'm looking to move out, he's looking again to scramble to his knees. And there it is again. Are you all seeing this, or am I just fucking mad? <laughs> there, right. Uh, both, both, right, okay, fine. So, just to illustrate once more. Difficult half guard to pass. I try pressure, I try smash, he flares out. Usually, a lot of people will overcorrect because they don't want their legs smashed. So I say, all right, that's it. Drop, watch for the underhook, knee and hip bone. And then from there, as he starts thinking about coming to it, oh. so I'm not immediately trying to catch leg, I'm just gonna, oh, try to, oh. Find my chance, cradle. Once more, Nathan, you're being a bit too kind, so obviously. That's a little bit kind of closer to reality and real speed. 
Does it make sense what I'm asking you all to do? Yeah. Does anyone need to see it again? One more time. Is it because you fucking hate him or something? Once <laughs> more. Oh no. If you have a rib injury, be careful with your partner. I recommend you drop this slowly. So from here, if my partner's got a rib injury, I'll base on my hand. But if the ribs are fine, fuck it, go for it. <laughs> Again, I'm tracking underhook here. There's other sort of jokes we can get here, but at the very least, make sure he's, if he tries to get an underhook, it's a shite underhook. Me and him. See that? He stepped up to come back to his knees. Cradle. Right, everyone, I've talked too much. Grab your partners, two goes each. Let's go. Come on. What I want to do now is I want to cover two points, give you another couple minutes just to play with it, to make any corrections, and then we'll go from there. Oh, this child in the front row, I better not swear. No sweat. I know, I know, Steve. Right, Nathan. So, a few of you had a few wee questions, a few wee difficulties. Remember, first things first, I am trying to pass the guard. I do not want to be in the guard. I hate dealing with a guard because it's a nightmare. I've, I'm sure we can all agree that being stuck in someone's guard is horrid. So, I'm going to work on not being in the guard. So if I can smash it, use that top leg lace. Generally speaking, any time I can smash a lace ever. Ha, 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 get my leg out. It's free. It's wonderful. It's great. But in reality, people will not just let you have it. Nathan will fight tooth and bloody nail not to let me have That was that swear word, by the way. But you get steaks that are bloody. Don't, don't come for me. So I'm looking to smash, and obviously he's like, no, I don't want to get smashed. I want to have good frames. He's framing really well. He's making my life a nightmare. As this point, it's like, right, okay, sod this. Can't go under the mountain, I'm gonna go over it. Drop, cross body. A few of you here listening going, Giles, I don't know what I'm doing. Just get close to them. Get really close. Uncomfortably close, even, if you will. And Nathan, trap my leg. Don't, you're being too nice. Trap, trap the damn thing. Obviously, the person's gonna hold on to your leg and do all sorts of horrid things. Again, we're working in reality here. So, I'm gonna have to have a bit of a struggle here. Yeah, you're pushing the hip bone. But the crucial point, a few of you were missing. Just move around, mate. Thank you. It's this knee and the hip bone. I cannot overstate how important this is. I think I did try and emphasise it, but a few didn't quite grasp that. <laughs> so make sure you've got that. And really have this here, because it makes it difficult for him to catch my, we catch my knee, mate? It's a nice little wedge that makes it really difficult for him to get both legs into play. So he's going to struggle to capture this. Minted. Third point. A few are saying, oh, what if your leg's still trapped? Come to your knees, Nathan. In the process of coming to his knees, he is going to have to uncross his ankles and therefore untrap your leg. So don't worry about it. So I'll go over these three points again in kind. Number one. Assume they know what they're doing. Smash the damn thing. If smashing doesn't work, go around it. Number two. Again, assume they're not an idiot. Wedge the knee, kneecap against hip bone. If your kneecap feels their bottom hip bone, you're doing it right. If you're like kneeing them in the groin, don't do that. That's, that's, that's actually not acceptable. <laughs> Seriously, don't. Please don't. Then from here. As he starts to think about coming up, perhaps I'm actually get my leg out and I'm really good, or perhaps he's just holding on for dear life. But whichever way you slice it, at some point, they're going to have to let go of the second leg. So let's let go of the leg. Oh, oh, oh. I'm out. His knee is close to his head. We're right back where we started. And then I can torture him, make him really pay for it, maybe even take a little cow catcher, maybe just straighten him out. Hey, maybe I'll do it. I'm working it. There we go. Two more minutes in this, then I really want to get cracking. Okay? We got it? Yeah. Right. Yeah. I'm quite 
keen to move on. Uh, I just want to address one little problem that I noticed a few of you had. I've gone around the room and tried to correct a few of these problems, but one thing I did notice and a few of you had the issues with. So there's a lot of moment in time where you're perhaps struggling to get to your knees and kind of cradle. So I'll show some. Nathan just clubs me in the face as he does. So perhaps we're here with this. Got knee wedged in. A few of you like Giles, I'm struggling to get up to my feet. So I think that everyone knows how to shrimp. Roughly, at least not right. Everyone has a rough idea of what shrimping looks like, yes? Yes. Yes. Okay. So shrimp. Notice how my rather large Latin backside comes towards you. <laughs> That's how you should be doing it. So from here, me on, it's like, oh man. Because a few of you are kind of stuck here and going, oh, so go on top, come on top. Oh, 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 this doesn't work. Oh, fuck. Fuck you, Giles. No. From here, scoop. Ah, for me. <laughs> 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 so I've scooted away. This now makes it easier. Start scrambling to your feet. So I think really the main takeaway is to throw that ass back like you've been paid for it. Yeah. That's the main thing you to do. Uh, or like you really enjoy it. So <laughs> now we've covered this, I would now like to move on to the next pass where I do this quite a lot from. Who knows what single leg X looks like? Who doesn't know what single leg X looks like? Okay, we've got a mix. You're all gonna learn today. <laughs> Fuck it, I've determined. I didn't know what single leg X looked like. <laughs> <laughs> so, who still doesn't know what single leg X looks like? Excellent, so we all know what it looks like. Just double checking. So, I'm going to show, and then I'm going to tell you and break it down. So I'm going to show the pass first. Ah. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Oh, Metro. So, from single leg X, this is quite nice and tight. Obviously, remember your general rules of being stuck in open guard. Number one, don't have a shy base. That is, maybe squat a little bit low, get a little bit of weight, especially on this foot which is trapped. Otherwise, if I run away, I am definitely getting a leg locked to death, or otherwise sweat to death. That way lies death, don't do it, move in. Kind of walk in a little bit. This foot is really fucking annoying. Second principle of dealing with open guard, get these fucking feet off you. Fuck that foot in particular. Just taking a nice, can I look at a tackle grip like Charles would say? Tackle grip? Foot. Keep the foot. The foot is yours now. Mine. 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 And then I drop my knee on his chest. Are you all with me so far? In fact, I tell you what, let's make this ridiculously simple. Single leg X. Squat. Hips in, walk in. Loads of weight on that leg. Foot. Off. Keep. Squat deeper. That's the first stage. We're going to break this pass down to little itty bitty chunks for you. How do you eat an elephant? How do you eat an elephant? One oh, That's it, you're all fucking right. Geniuses, the fucking lot of you. <laughs> Keep the foot, get to here, feel a little bit comfortable, make sure to drop plenty of weight onto this foot, keep it flat on the floor, and then we'll go to the next stage. Got it? Yep. Lovely job, Lee. Grand partner, two turns each. Let's go, no clapping. <laughs> something, uh, the boy. so part of pushing single leg X, remember to really plant weight on the foot that is wrapped, if there is not enough weight on it, I turn away, I'm exposing myself to all manner of leg box, so I really have to plant 
and bend. You see I'm kind of squatting down. Again, I'm just presenting my, my voluptuous backside to everyone. There you go. I'm just going to record that. Thank you. <laughs> from here, I'm driving the weight forward. And then from here, if I'm like... Perhaps he's really gluing, yeah, curling toes around. That's fine. Hips forward. It could be foot. Okay, next step. From here, I need to move forwards, drop the weight on my partner, and then walk back a little bit. So next step, knee on chest. If you, um, you know, then this would be quite uncomfortable, so try and aim for the kind of collarbone. So, Aim in here. I'm starting to walk back. So see how my toes here? Can everyone see what my toes are doing? My toes have gone from being here, firmly wedged in his armpit. Look at what my toes are doing. If you can't see, move. This is quite important. Otherwise, you're all going to have a terrible time. Look at my foot. Look at it. Look at my foot. <laughs> walk, walk, and see how I'm walking backwards. And see, as I go from here, weight on, walk, walk. Walk. See how Nathan's starting to get to his side? You see how this looks kind of cradle-ish? Can you all see that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. And then, well, as I've just said, just fucking cradle. You can backstep, or you can just fucking sit on him, take the cradle. And then at some point, try and get to your knees. Oh, fucking easy. So, once more. Single leg X, we've done the first step. Squat low, present the backside, weight on the foot that is trapped, we control their foot. Stage two, corkscrew your knee on your chest. Try and aim for the collarbone if you don't want to cause uh, <clears throat> bruising and irritation. Walk, walk, just keep on walking it back. Sometimes I kind of like to cut the knee here. But now, he's starting to turn onto his side. This arm here, you can catch. Look, right. Come in, here, And then from there, I fall. And that's your cradle. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, a lot of nods, a lot of yeses. Does anyone need to see that again, or can we go practice? Okay. Can you do it one more time? <clears throat> okay. Um, Derry, I'm boring you. I'll stop torturing for an You've got with them all week, so I feel bad for you. Right, so, single leg X. So again, I'm trying to get low, present the back side, hips out, foot grab. Next, stage two, drop, knee on chest. Walk, 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 walk. I'm getting low, I'm getting low. My chest is very close to Derry's. Got loads of pressure on. Can you uh, sweep me over that way? Not very easy, is it? No. Because I've got your fucking foot. <laughs> and I've got fucking everything else. And then from there, oh, knee close to head. Look, if someone had like a ruler, I could maybe just measure it. Never mind. Hand, hook, come in. Drop the cradle, and that's that. Um, just a little note of the grip. You can just drop here, but if you're a nerd like me, you can catch the chin, catch a cow catcher, all sorts of different things. You can catch your farm boy grip, a la Mr. Groudnar, which I quite like. I've seen people get fucking wrecked with us at competition, so it's definitely useful to have. You enjoying yourself, Derry? No. <laughs> <laughs> Main thing is, stage two, knee on chest, walk, 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 get them on their side, fucking cradle. Make sense? Yes. Yeah. Lovely job, boy. Grab your partner, no clapping. <laughs> Having problems with your uh, your partner, so with getting this sort of pass completed. So one of the things that was happening is a few years here in St Giles, I can't move my leg. My leg is forever trapped. <laughs> Referring to this one, no, it's not. Walk in and see this back foot. I'll just move around a little bit so you can all see. I'm walking. I'm walking. I'm walking. And see, I kind of just kind of. Corkscrew my foot. So it goes from being here. 
grind it out a wee bit. Just oh, look where we are. And also, another crucial point, my partner is now on their side. This means their ability to sweep over that way is fucking nil, pretty much. Unless they've got some voodoo or bribery up their sleeve, I don't fucking know. But from here, it's quite a simple case of collapsing. Ugh. I mean, I'm being quite dramatic here, because I am very theatrical. But, in reality, you catch the head as you go. Uh, second point, just want to address, a few of you were kind of saying, Giles, what well, about the arm and arm? I don't care. I don't care what arm is. So long as I have the head and the leg, I can worry about the rest later. So, I can start grinding. Maybe put a little bit of weight in this. Grind, grind, grind. There we go. So, if I'm over the head, and maybe, the, maybe they've got the arm in, I might think about going for Dars. If the arm's out, I don't really care. I can maybe go cross body, take a grip here. I don't really care where the arm is. I've got options either way. I wouldn't get too bent out of shape over it. The main thing is head, leg, cradle. I can't make any support. Now we're going to do something cool. See the card? Take it on your seat of card. Okay, so, um, just wait a little bit. You might want to push back just a touch. So, we will play fucking see the guard all the time. Oh my god. That's one option. Or, that's the other option. Can you not move? <laughs> so, that's my, uh, that's how I deal well with a lot of the seated guard stuff. So a lot of people are usually going here nowadays, catching seated guard, catching all their base attacks. So, I've decided, because I'm a lazy bastard, to bypass all that. So I'm stepping in relatively close, to see how head close to knee. I've been banging on about this for nearly an hour, and I'm hoping it's starting to sink the fuck in. From here, cradle, I'm going to go. If you're not confident, that's fine. Come to your knees, roll onto your back. No matter how you do it, you're rolling onto your back, and you end up here. I have my cupping chip on, uh, grip chip. I must be hungry. <laughs> cupping grip on the chin, and this stops them from immediately turning away too quickly. Is that pleasant, Nathan? No. <laughs> Good. I'm not pleasant. From here, <laughs> I have control. Obviously, there's all manner of attacks we can look for. Oh, is that a dark oh, oh, my. Oh, But the main thing is, from Seed Guard, I can get on top into a dominant position. Uh, some people worry about catching the leg. You go back to your cradle here. But if you're so inclined, you can come to the back here. I don't really care. I'm giving you options. The main thing is, you're not having to deal with that fucking guard anymore. So, once more, just turn it this side here. Step in, head. I'm cupping around the jaw. Leg, catch. If you're confident rolling, like a forward roll, go over your shoulder. If you're not, knees, cradle, you can join your hands, or you're feeling pretty hedged today, you can fall to your back, keep. Maybe if you like your partner, you can just put a little bit of pressure on. And from there, come to the top. Does that make sense? Yes. yes. Lovely. This is a little bit of fun and games, so don't worry about it if you're a bit scared, a bit new. Again, don't break your necks. Please don't cripple each other. Grab your partner. Let's have some fun. Let's go. to interfere with Supreme Leader's class. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed.
that. And a few of you asked some questions about that last sort of wee fun technique there. Uh, I do that, but I'm small, six or six kilos, and I fling myself about um, like with absolute abandon. So it probably doesn't suit everyone. If you have any questions, I will be at open mat from three till five, and I've already got a few people in the queue uh, ready to ask me questions. So um, I, don't worry, I'll look after you. Any questions about this technique or anything else I've taught today, grab me an open mat. I will be teaching again at 10 a.m. tomorrow. I'm teaching one of my most favorite topics, uh, which is, that's my kink, strangles and no escape, because I do an awful lot of lapel work uh, where people just slowly get sucked into, well, their untimely demise, really. <laughs> I suppose that makes me sound like a lunatic, but I suppose I am. I hope you all enjoyed yourselves. You've been wonderful. Thank you very much. Give yourselves a round of applause.